Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cash Fall Week 6. And I'm beginning to think that I'm the one that's the fraud. Last week I went 2-1 in the NFL and 0-3 in in my college picks. If you add it up, that makes me 6-9 on the season for NFL and college. Nice. But this week we're looking to bounce back. Let's go over last week's picks. First one right off the bat, I was exposed as a fraud. Texas A&M came back and beat Florida straight up, which put a dagger in my heart. It's BS because Texas A&M had an absolutely filled stadium. Looked like they had 120,000 people up there. And definitely affected the Gators. Dan Bullen even said it. That's why he wants his swamp packed this next week. But bottom line, it was a bunch of horse shit. A&M cheated. There's still frauds in my book. But I'm going to keep off of them for another couple of weeks and see how that goes. Next, LSU versus Mizzou. LSU might be the ones that are frauds. They lost straight up and they were minus 14. Absolutely disgusting by the reigning national champs. Looks like Joe Burrow pretty much did everything for him. Next, another really disappointing one, BYU versus UTSA over 61 and a half. That one has an asterisk. Frank Harris, the UTSA QB, that was my guy. He got hurt early and the pace of the game was never the same. But I'm looking for BYU to avenge my loss later on next week in one of my picks. Going to NFL, a little bit more luck. Panthers, plus plus three versus the Falcons. Falcons, the wheels are coming off. Fire the GM and uh, head coach, Dan Quinn. Just the vultures are circling for the Falcons right now. Cashed in on the Panthers plus three versus them. To chain. Then I got the cards minus six and a half versus the Jets. The Jets are historically bad right now. I'm trying to cash in on that as well. To chain. And the last one was a first time pick. I did an under 46 and a half Colts and Browns. They ended up scoring like 56 points or something. I might not ever do an under ever again. On to the jersey watch for next week. This week it is Virginia's all-white unis. Very similar to Virginia Tech's new white unis. Uh, The number scheme and the font is very similar to early 2000s Miami, which I'm a fan of. I just don't like how they're copying them. But keep an eye out. Should look pretty cool. Next is the Strength and Conditioning Coach Spotlight. This week's spotlight is on Coach Pat Moorer from USF. Coach Moorer was a linebacker at Florida in the late 80s. He was SEC Newcomer of the Year in 86. The dude was a baller. Played on the Chargers for a year. Then ended up playing in NFL Europe for a brief stint. And then he became an assistant strength coach on Florida staff for a while. Uh, Eventually met up with Coach Charlie Strong at South Carolina. And Coach Strong ended up bringing him wherever he went after that. So Coach Moore has been at Louisville. Coaching Teddy Bridgewater, ever heard of him? He's at Texas for a while, coaching a lot. Of those first round guys, Hassan Ridgeway and and co. And now he's at USF and he's working on those guys down south, South Florida to be exact. Coach Pat Moore, let's take a look. P (laughs) Mo! You know what, Pete Moore is great, man. He he, he is a ball of energy. He holds the guys and his staff accountable to 
helping our young man be the best. Make sure that we're ready to go. It's all about energy, it's all about effort. It's all about getting better, all right? Now to this week's picks. This week's picks, the theme is going to be small ball. We're going to try to take everything we can this week. No crazy numbers. We're bringing it back down to basics. Been on a lot of these close games. First one right out the gate. I'm jumping back on BYU. More Menzel. They're trying to win a national championship because they have one of the worst schedules uh, due to COVID in terms of strength of schedule. They're playing Houston at Houston. This is a huge statement game for them. They need to win with style points to get some national attention. BYU minus three. Also, Houston is pretty gutted with injuries and COVID. So, Cougars minus three. Next up, NC State mi minus four and a half versus Duke. I like NC State. They're pretty under wraps this year. They got a good run game. Duke, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm trying to zag when everyone else is zigging. A lot of hype for Chase Bryce. It's at Duke, or I think it's at NC State, but it doesn't matter. They're both very close. Uh, it's a natural rivalry and they don't play very often. I got NC State minus four and a half. Last college pick is a reverse psychology double reverse pick. Getting a little SEC action. Bama minus four and a half versus Georgia. Everyone is quick to jump on Georgia because Nick Saban has COVID. He will be coaching from the sideline. And traditional thought, you think substitute teachers in. They got Sark at the helm, assistant head coach, now assuming the head coaching duties. He's popping pills. He's drinking. You think the players give a hell? 99% of teams wouldn't, but Alabama does. It's a total smoke screen. They did play poorly last year, so they're going to be tuned up. Ole Miss has lit that fire under their belly. This is a huge game versus Georgia. Uh, SEC championship implications and it boils down to the quarterback in my opinion on one hand you have Mac Jones who low-key is good he's proven himself and Alabama has one of the best lines to protect him and you look at Georgia they got Stetson Bennett the fourth this guy was on Georgia and then left started at Juco for a year now he's back on scholarship he was the third string coming into this season. I still don't really understand the JT Daniels situation. He might even be playing. I don't know. Knowing my luck, he probably will be. But I got Bama. They're going to be locked in. They're a group of motivated, motivated players that want to bring motivation to the field. Do it for Saban. He might die soon, minus four and a half, versus the Dogs. Now on the NFL... I do have a handful of favorite teams. My only team in NFL that I like. How about them Cowboys? Finally get to choose them and root for them this week. I got the boys plus one and a half versus the Cardinals. Rolling with the red rifle. We'll see what happens. They got a lot of weapons. Let's see if Andy Dalton can take advantage. RIP Dak. Next up we got... Titans, minus three versus the Texans. Texans are in shambles. Bill O'Brien is gone. Titans are absolutely steamrolling. Mofo's out there. Derrick Henry's rolling. Titans minus three. And my last pick is, pick is going to be Steelers, minus three versus the Browns. You got to love to root against Baker Mayfield. He's not very good with pressure, and T.J. Watt is going to have an absolute field day. Steelers minus three versus the Browns. We'll see what happens. Check in next week to see the results, and until next time, peace.